Okay, here are the results of running an anti-fouler. I want to measure the drop in uh, pressure with and without the fouler. So, conclusion is I've got about a 5.6% drop when the fouler is in place. This only has a little hole through there, a little less than two tenths of an inch, it's five millimeters, 197. Okay, I'm measuring the compression test of an anti-fowler to see how much it drops the compression pressure. These are for an uh, Iron Duke. Got R44 TSX plugs, 14 millimeter. It's a little bitty hole in there, so I've got that down in the number two cylinder. And here it is without the anti-fowler, 160 psi. With the anti-fowler in place, it was 152. So I didn't drop a whole bunch. I was told they would drop it a whole bunch, but I've never seen this measured. So I'm going to do this a couple different times just to see if it's fairly consistent. But there it is down in the bore. Here's 152 with the Sears gauge. I'm going to go ahead and take it out and do it a couple more times. It's in the third test. 152. I got 152, 150, and 152. There's the last run there. Got 160, 160, 161. No anti fouler. This is 52, 50, 152. This is with the Sears gauge. You just screw in there. It's got a seal. This is the Dorman anti foul. I got a bunch of different types for different types of plugs. I'd heard it really dropped it radically, but didn't really drop it a whole bunch. The old Iron Duke here has got a lot of miles on it. It's about 300K now. Back in 1993, it had 257K.